Hi there, as a 276 here for Borderline Tactical. I am here in this video going to take you through the MQ-12 Falcon. For the the uh, Falcon is the new NATO drone available uh, in uh, the Apex update coming up. It's I'm um, running uh, version 1.63 in the dev mode here, so get to uh, have a look at these things before they get released. Uh, I've had a little play around with the MQ-12, uh, gotten a bit of a feel for it, so just uh, take you through some of the, the weaponry and the flight characteristics of the MQ-12. Uh, this video was suggested to me by a YouTube user named Arn Pan. I uh, hope I didn't uh, wreck that name too much. Uh, he, he did uh, ask if he could help out. Uh, I've been trying to get hold of you Arn, so... Um, yeah, sorry, but credit goes to you for this video. Uh, thanks for the idea. Uh, so just a quick look uh, around the MQ-12 here. Uh, at the front here, you've also got the the targeting cameras, drone cameras at the front there. There's no obviously cockpit because there's no. It's not a manned vehicle. Uh, on the sides here, you've got uh, the Striker air ground missiles, rockets. Uh, they're, they're a guided rocket. I'll take you through how to use them later. And you got 24 high, high explosive uh, DAR rockets. Uh, they're unguided. So there's, there's a um, trick to how to use them. The, uh, the front landing gear is retractable. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, is retractable. But the rear is not. The rear acts as a bit of a tail as well. A bit of a tail plane. Um, so yeah, that's uh, pretty much the only real armaments and features about the drone which sets it apart from other helicopters uh, let's give these things a fly shall we all right uh, one thing to remember when you jump in the uh the driver for these things is it's going to be in the zoomed up position uh, i recommend uh, zooming out straight away to uh, give yourself a better field of view uh, as you can see i'm pretty close up there so all right we'll wind her up start off in uh, third person so you can uh, see what she's, she's like from the outside uh, it's a fairly light light vehicle good power to weight um, I just moved up to about halfway throttle there uh, she lifts, lifts off the ground quite well uh, going up to full throttle she'll uh, gain quite a bit of altitude just through uh, hovering alone uh, there's the rest there uh, retract landing gear They're quite an agile vehicle, being uh, only a drone, there's uh, no requirements for uh, safety features for human beings to be in them. So as you can see, you can get up quite a bit of speed, uh, not very much time at all. They pull up pretty hard with these. And stop pretty quickly, and lots of attitude. Uh, all the control surfaces have a lot more uh, uh, sensitivity to uh, other helicopters of course. The Hummingbird being the lightest uh, manned helicopter. Uh, this thing uh, probably outperforms that in uh, turn rate and uh, flight characteristics obviously. Uh, a bit uh, wild on the stick here, sorry about that. Uh, flying it's not too hard bring it down for a soft touch down here it's uh, quite quite uh, comfortable flight vehicle to fly as I said she's uh, very responsive on the flight controls Jump back into first person view to give you a feel for what it's like uh, if, if you don't have third person view available to you. As you can see, uh, field of view is quite limited. So it uh, can be quite challenging for novice pilots to get a good hover and uh, good situational awareness. I'll just bring her in for a landing here. Still going quite fast. So 
see if I can flare her out a bit here. And I crashed it. There you go. They crash easily. Uh, another thing to note with these uh, drones, they are quite fragile. I'll, uh, yeah, there you go, not even a full mag, and she's on the ground. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind when you're operating close to enemy troops. Uh, you want to keep these things a uh, fair way away. No, they are quite fragile. Alright, so now we'll talk about the uh, weapons we have available here. We've got the HE DARS, as we were discussing before, the uh, dumb rocket. Uh, you got the laser marker, you use laser marker for calling in uh, close air support with guided bombs. And you got the scalpel ATGMs, air to ground missiles. The ATGMs are guided by your crosshairs, not the uh, laser, so you don't need the uh, the laser for this one. I've uh, got a target here, so if I hold my crosshair over there, I'll zoom out to show you. So I'll follow your marker wherever you go. And this time we'll actually hit the target. Um, rocket won't always hit directly on where your crosshairs are, and there is a bit of a a lag in the, uh, the movement of the crosshair and the missile because it's a beam riding missile it has to follow the beam as you go if you're moving at quite high rate of knots it may not actually be able to keep up with where you're pointing the marker now we've got a moving target along here somewhere there it is so when you are aiming at moving targets, make sure you uh, lead your target by some amount. Probably about that much, no, a little bit too short. Uh, too far leading, that's uh, pretty close. Took out the tyres, took out the driver, uh, it's, that's a kill in my book. And just one more time for the fun of it. As you can see I'm uh, right directly on the body of the frit there and again only took out the wheels dismounted the driver so they're a bit of uh, trial and error finding out how far ahead you can shoot uh, a little quill on here will uh, take him out as well there again not directly on target but uh, for that purpose uh, good enough Another way you can uh, guide the scalpels is with the uh, lock-on button, so just uh, lock on to uh, the target and fire. And it missed. I think I did better with my own uh, hitting the target. Let's try that again. And it missed again. And again. And it missed again. One last time. Still going. No. no. He just took his slide, the back wheels out in the last one. That's no good. Alright, the, uh, the darts are a bit more of an uh, interesting concept here. Uh, you can put a laser marker down, that'll give you an idea of what you're going to be shooting at. Uh, but for the, the darts, um, in this mode, like if I just shot them, where is my nose pointing that way? If I just shot them, they just shoot straight out. It doesn't matter where I point uh, the, the crosshairs here. Uh, it doesn't make, take, make any difference. So you need to take control of uh, the UAV itself. Make sure you zoom back out. See the uh, laser crosshairs there? Uh, you'll need to switch to uh, manual fire. Make sure you got the HE selected. Uh, jump out of auto hover. 
Now, because there, uh, there's no crosshair when you're uh, in the pilot's position, you really have to sort of guess uh, where where they're going to hit. Uh, so if I'm going for these three ifrits here, and for some reason it keeps changing weapons on me. Here the, uh, the drone camera swiveling around to stay on to the target of the efforts there. Oops. Oh, got a good hit on that one. So yeah, the the dars are really a bit useless in my opinion. If you've got no crosshair on the driver's seat, you can't uh, control them with the um, gunner's position. There's sort of not real much point to them. Uh, a little bit low. Uh, not a bad hit. Probably about the only thing saving me here is my speed, they're not actually shooting at me. Uh, pretty much taken out their uh, wheels. So I've dismounted them and I'm out of here. So really, the, the DARS are, in my opinion, a bit useless on on this drone. They're probably better off fitting another six uh, guided missiles on them. Might make them a bit OP, but overall, the uh, flight characteristics are very snappy. Uh, so you just need to uh, temper your movements a little bit when you're flying these things. Uh, you can get uh, in vertical positions either in roll or in pitch very very quickly just got to uh, keep that in mind when you're flying them uh, pilot slash driver's position on this one is does have a limited field of view so just keep that in mind Gentle, gentle. And there we go. Uh, but overall, not a bad platform if you want to. Um, if you want to get a bit more performance than the uh, AR2 data, uh, if you want to use the laser pointer for. Guided rocket, um, sorry, guided bomb attacks. And the DARS, yeah, you have to get uh, up close and personal with the enemy too much to, to make them of any use, especially if uh, you can't shoot them effectively from the gunner's position. So, yeah, hope you enjoy this video. Uh, hit that uh, like button and subscribe if you want to see more, more videos. If you've got any more ideas of uh, because you want me to, to, to walk you through, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.